On the third anniversary of the May 2010 flood, officials unveiled a high water mark sign at England Park in Nashville, Tennessee, showing where waters rose over the banks of Richland Creek during the May 2010 flood. The initiative to place signs in various locations around town is part of a concerted effort by local and federal agencies to bring attention to flood risk, awareness, and preparedness. Three years ago, where we stand was covered with, uh, with flood water. That flood water not only destroyed, destroyed homes, it took the lives of Martha and Andrew England, after whom this park is named. We cannot forget what happened in 2010. We must be prepared for future flood events. The commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District said the Corps has been working hard since the flood with its local, state, and federal partners to assist with engineering, flood modeling and mapping, and the development of new online tools. We've also assisted, as uh, Scott pointed out, in the MetroSafe tool and the NERV tool, which is a tool used to better predict and uh, inform the public where flooding will occur. To date, we've also spent $2 million in federal funds in flood preparedness plans for the counties of Wilson, Sumner, Rutherford, and Cheatham. The Nashville mayor paid his respects to citizens that lost their lives during the record flood and said the high water mark signs will serve as flood preparedness reminders. With this new high water mark project, we will be posting signs that designate just how high the flood waters rose in 2010 as a reminder of what our waterways are capable of doing in the worst of circumstances. The initiative was developed by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with assistance from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, National Park Service, Corps of Engineers, U.S. Department of Agriculture, Natural Resources Conservation Service, U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, U.S. Geological Survey, and U.S. Small Business Administration. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District from England Park in Nashville, Tennessee.